Witten Sports Centre is the home base for the league's newest club, Ipswich, who are looking for their first win of the season against the high-flying Sheffield Wasco Brown Stars, who are currently involved in a three-horse race for the title with Oxford and Poole as the season heads towards its climax. Leading the Stars' attack today will be their captain, reigning British champion Andy Angel, who has won the coveted national title for each of the last two seasons. And Andy Angel is in action straight away in Heat 1, where he joins his young team partner Matt Smith, who lines up from Gate 1, the pairing for Ipswich, uh, Jamie Chiddock and Josh Brooke. So it's race number one, referee Mr Ashford gets them away, and immediately you see the Ipswich boys there mugging Andy Angel on the uh, run into the first corner. Angel trying to force his way back up the inside into third place there, but he certainly uh, was outwitted uh, on the start there as... Uh, Matt Smith leads it up for Sheffield, then it's Josh Brook. Angel tucked in in third place there, and Jamie Chittick at the back. Well now Angel looks like he wants to mount an attack on uh, the Ipswich rider, and Josh Brook now sees him, gets him onto his shoulder, and Angel now relegated to the back as uh, Chittick comes through into second place. And Angel's got his work cut out to get anything out of this race as Smith continues to lead it up, and uh, round they come onto the final lap, and uh, Angel has to give up on the run in there. He found no way through to get a point, and we see that race again from the starting gate with Smith away. Angel was uh, boxed in by the two Ipswich lads, but finds a little gap on the inside. But uh, later in the race, uh, he'll uh, rue the effort that he made to try and get back into second place because he's given up a position here. You see him trying to take Brook on the outside. Brook catches him, lets his partner through, and that's a... Uh, thank you very much, say the Ipswich boys. they got a drawn race in race number one. So it's all square after the first race as we head in towards heat two with the Ipswich pairing on the inside grids of Leon Moa. He's on the inside and his partner Phil Adams. Whilst for the stars, they've got the pairing of Ryan Hoyland on two and a Jamie Ball who goes from gate position number four. All square as they go away from the tapes and that's a very good start by Hoyland there. And in fact, both the Sheffield riders uh, are fast from the uh, tapes and uh, they're currently leading it up with uh, maximum points. Ho Hoyland on the inside, covering there, but uh, slips through, and Phil Adams there just relegates Hoyland to uh, last place, and he allows his team partner, Leon Moa, through. So once again, we've got a share of the spoils as Hoyland tries to get his position back. Jamie Ball leading it up out in front, and Hoyland there just round the outside of Adams, in fact cuts right across and Adams takes a tumble, be interesting to see what uh, referee Mr Ashford makes of that one as uh, Ball undoubtedly wins it and the four points for the uh, Sheffield Stars but uh, as we see that uh, action replayed you'll see Ball coming right the way round there, a nice piece of team riding by Hoyland and uh, lets his uh, teammate through but then he gets caught out himself as Adams for Ipswich uh, sees a little gap and that allows his team partner through. And there's the incident with Hoyland and Adams. Yeah, he really does chop across and he's got his marching orders. Well, that exclusion to Ryan Hoyland in Heat 2 means that Ipswich hold a slender one-point advantage by 10 points to 9 as the riders line up for Heat number 3. And uh, this time we've got Ipswich uh, on the outside. Grids represented by Lee Cossey and Lewis Roberts and Sheffield with Jake Reed, the Stockport base youngster on gate one, Radek Hanke, the Polish superstar, lining up from gate position number three. And Mr. Ashford gets them away to a clean start. Hanke, the pole, gets a supercharged start from the uh, gate three position and then moves into an immediate lead, but importantly for the home side, it's which boys in blue there taking the minor places with uh, Roberts chasing down Hanke and Cossey holding on to uh, third place at the expense of Jake Reed. And uh, that's a pretty strong challenge by Roberts, uh, no respecter of any uh, riders with superstar status and uh, he's already taken a number of important caps this season but uh, more importantly for Sheffield, Jake Reed there has come through to relegate Lee Cossey to the back and it means that Sheffield can take a 6-4 race win out of this one as they cross the line and Sheffield go into a one point lead themselves. You can see the restart here showing how Hankey powers his way from the starting gate. He really is a, a top performer, a member of the Polish national squad but meantime later in the race it's his team partner 
and that's young Jake Reed who comes through catching uh, Lee Cossey napping, gets third place. Well, it's now Sheffield who lead the match by a single point as they've got their pairing of Matt Smith and Lee Smith, the two brothers, hail from the West Midlands, right in the colours of Sheffield Stars, up against Ashley Hill and Josh Brook for the home side. Matt Smith, it is on gate two here, and uh, he's immediately away sharply from the gate, and he sort of outpaces the two at switch boys into the first bend. Matt Smith leading it up then from Ashley Hill, who sets off in pursuit in second place, while Brook holding on to third place at the expense of Lee Smith. Ashley Hill right on the back wheel now of uh, Matt Smith and uh, he's a pretty uh, talented young rider looking for a way through. Will he find it? And uh, Smith just drifting a little bit wide there. Hill coming through on the inside, a bit of a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder situation there, but it's now the two Ipswich boys who come through to hold a 7-3 advantage. Matt Smith coming back under Brook there. Brook trying to hold him off. Bit of a shoulder barge. In fact, uh, Matt Smith loses control. Referee Terry Ashford points to the Ipswich rider there, Josh Brook. Looks like an exclusion for him. Another look at the first bend as Matt Smith is away sharply and into an early lead, but he is eventually worn down by uh, Ashley Hill in second place, who uh, finds a nice gap, and uh, that would have been a good result for Ipswich had it not been for this exclusion to Josh Brook right at the end of the race when he tried to fend off Matt Smith. And that 5-4 uh, race advantage to Sheffield means they move into a two-point lead as they line up for heat number five. And it's a chance for Andy Angel to make good after his heat one disappointment. He lines up with Dan Chambers against Jamie Chiddock and Jordan Stant for the Ipswich boys. Sheffield on the inside. And it's Andy Angel on three here who uh, has not made a good start as uh, he sees... Jamie Chilock leading it out there, there's plenty of mayhem going on on the first lap and uh, Angel right on the back wheel of Jamie Chilock looking for a way through whilst the uh, other Sheffield rider Dan Chambers holding on to third place there. Angel going right round the outside of Chilock there, good ride by the British champion moving into the lead, that's a bit more like the Andy Angel we know. Chilock in uh, second place and at the moment it's still the other Sheffield rider, Dan Chambers, holding on to uh, third place, but uh, he's coming under pressure from uh, Jordan Stant at the closing part of the race, and Stant comes through to take a very good third place indeed, and another share of the spoils. So Sheffield still two points in ad, uh, advantage. You can see how Andy, Angel gets the pass on Chilock there. He gives him a little nudge. He just causes his opponent to lose control, and he takes the win. Good third place by Stant. So as we uh, head towards heat number six, this time it's the Sheffield Stars uh, who are hoping to get a heat uh, victory with their pairing of Ryan Hoyland and Jamie Ball on grids two and four. Lewis Roberts and Lee Cossey for the Ipswich uh, team as uh, it's Lewis Roberts leading it up. Jamie Ball gets a good start from the outside and his partner Ryan Hoyland tucked in in third place, Lee Cossey currently trailing at the back. Very closely uh, put together this race as Roberts continues to lead it up, ball uh, challenging strongly and uh, Cossey looking out for a way past Hoyland to get a heat advantage for Ipswich. At the moment it's a 5-5 but uh, Hoyland there just uh, caught by Cossey as they go into the last lap. A good ride by Cossey making up for his uh, earlier mistakes and it looks like Ipswich are going to take a 6-4 race win to level the match at 29 points apiece. And you can see here that it's Cossey who uh, is the uh, hero for the home side with a fine pass there on Ryan Hoyland. Well, Sheffield's still holding a slender lead as we go into heat nine, the last race before the interval. Sheffield pairing this one, Ryan Hoyland and Lee Smith. And for the Ipswich home team, Lee Cossey and Ashley Hill. Sheffield it is who have the inside advantages. And uh, that's Ryan Hoyland on the uh, gate one position. He should be favourite for this one. And he gets away pretty smartly as uh, Lee Smith holds the important third place out of the first bend. And at the moment, Sheffield look to extend their lead in the match with a 6-4 here as uh, Ipswich try and square the heat up. We've got uh, there Lee Cossey in uh, second place and the uh, 
fast charging Ashley Hill looking for a way through. In fact, he does find a gap through passing Lee Smith there in very fine style. Ashley Hill, one of his trademark passes, and that does indeed square the heat up because of Ryan Hoyland's way out in front for Sheffield, but the two at Switch boys importantly holding the minor places. So once again, it looks like being a 5-5 heat as they uh, complete the race. And uh, four points for Hoyland, but uh, five points in the heat for the two at Switch boys. You can see from the start here, Hoyland was well away, but uh, Lee Smith momentarily holding on to third place and eventually it was Ashley Hill who uh, was uh, came to the rescue for the home side taking the points. Join us after the break to see whether Ipswich can get back into this match and take the second half. Well, Sheffield start the second half of this match with a slender one-point lead in their pairing of Dan Chambers and Jamie Ball on gates two and four against the home pairing of Lewis Roberts and Geordie Stan. Ipswich boys in blue on gates one and three and away they go. That's a pretty good powerful start by Ball from gate four there and he comes straight under Lewis Roberts on the back straight to take over the lead. Good start there by the uh, Sheffield rider and he's bringing his partner Dan Chambers through into second place. Good way to start the second half with a 7-3 advantage although Lewis Roberts will have other ideas for the home side in fact he already has come back under Chambers and uh, now Sheffield holding on to a 6-4 as Roberts sets off in pursuit of uh, Jamie Ball Ball out front there and uh, Lewis Roberts takes a tumble and that's going to be an interesting one for referee Ashford because I think he stopped the race and I'm sure he's excluded Jamie Ball there for that excess force and uh, that turns the race right around from a 7-3 advantage to uh, Sheffield to a 6-3 advantage for Ipswich. You can see early on here that uh, Jamie Ball's out in front but as soon as he chops across on Roberts he gets his marching orders. So the scores are still level, it's 58 apiece as we go into heat 12 and it's the Ipswich pairing of Jamie Chiddock and Josh Brook lining up against Ryan Hoyland and Jamie Ball for the Sheffield Stars and a crucial stage of the match, it's all square and uh, Ipswich have that inside advantage. Jamie Chillock already uh, scored some useful points from the inside uh, position, he's away pretty quickly this time, Chiddock leads it up from uh, Ryan Hoyland and then Josh Brook holding that all-important third place and uh, Jamie Ball chasing him down. Chiddock's well away there, speedy rider, youngster coming through the Ipswich ranks and uh, looking comfortable out in front. Well, Jamie Ball for Sheffield right on the back uh, wheel of Josh Brook looking for a third place and Brook shutting the door on him quite firmly there. Hoyland uh, looked uh, as if he was checking his partner's progress but he's uh, comfortably in uh, second place as Brook tries to hold off Jamie Ball on the last bend but the uh, Sheffield rider comes through in fine style there to take uh, third place right on the last bend. What a magnificent ride that was by Jamie Ball. You can see uh, Chido away from the start here but all importantly on the last bend there Jamie Ball right the way round for that all important third place and I'm sure that keeps the matches all square. We're going to hear now from Pete Williamson, the team manager for Ipswich. Well, the Ipswich pairing of Lee Cossey and Lewis Roberts there just getting their tactics for Heat 13. They're going to need them because it's Matt Smith and Andy Angel for the Sheffield Stars lining up on gates one and three. It's Smith on one, Angel on three, and we all know what they're capable of as they get away pretty smartly with uh, Matt Smith leading it up and uh, Lee Cossey tucked in in second place. Andy Angel, not for the first time today, in the heavy traffic there, stuck just between his two opponents and looking for a way through, but having to keep an eye on Lewis Roberts right behind him. And uh, it's a 6-4 as it stands to the Sheffield Stars, but Angel probably won't be content with this. He's got Lee Cossey in front of him and Lewis Robertson breathing right down his neck as Matt Smith continues to lead the race. 
Angel coming through and forces his way through there. Lee Cossey tries to shut the door but only succeeds in uh, coming to grief as Angel comes through. The referee obviously regarded that as a 50-50 situation. And Sheffield take a 7-3 to open up a little bit of daylight. Puts a four-point gap between the two sides. I'm sure the Sheffield Stars will be relieved about that one. Here we see the first bend again and Matt Smith was always a favourite to uh, get away first in that one but it's this uh, action at the back from uh, Andy Angel that was a controversial moment as he forces his way through into second place. Well, Sheffield have taken two more race wins since that all-important 7-3 in Heat 13 and they line up with an eight-point advantage in Heat 16 with Jamie Ball and Matt Smith in their colours. Ipswich have Lee Cossey and Jamie Chiddock. Chiddock's the rider on the inside starting gate position and he gets a pretty good start away but uh, they come together, they get a bit of bunching and Jamie Ball is the Sheffield rider on gate two who takes a tumble. And uh, you can see by the restart here that there uh, are a few elbows flying as they hit the first bend. Maybe Ball just uh, bails out a little bit. He's certainly got himself a restart. It's all four back for a second attempt at starting heat number 16. Remember, eight points between the two teams. Ipswich must have something out of this one to stand any chance of a match win. Referee Mr. Ashford puts him under orders and this time it looks like it's the Sheffield rider on gate four, Matt Smith, who was moving at the start there. Let's have another look at that. Yes, he's undoubtedly on the move, but Mr. Ashford has allowed him back into the restart. The young man might consider himself a little bit fortunate, but uh, the referee says there was some uh, noise distraction in the crowd. So we've got a third restart of the race with all four riders. So reading across, it's... Uh, Lee Cossey on one, Jamie Ball on two, Jamie Chittick on three, and Matt Smith on gate position number four. Will they get away cleanly this time? It looks like it, as uh, Chittick leads it up. Uh, it's Lee Cossey leading it up for Ipswich, and Chittick holding off uh, Matt Smith there, or trying to, but he takes a tumble. That is a disappointment for the home side. Sheffield riders there just shutting off Jamie Chiddock and he was unable to get through to join his team partner. Lee Cossey comfortably out in front in this one but the two Sheffield riders will be more than content to share the race because a 5-5 means they can maintain their eight point advantage and keep their noses well in front. Here you can see another restart of the race and away they go. It's uh, this stage, Chiddock the rider in third place trying to get through and join his team partner but takes a tumble and uh, Ipswich hopes come crashing down. Well, Sheffield now leading by 82 points to 74 and quite simply they just need to share the spoils as we go into heat 17. Ipswich of course need two 7-3s to draw the match but they've got the pairing to keep them in the picture this time with Ashley Hill and Josh Brook who have certainly been amongst the points today. Ryan Hoyland is for Sheffield on gate one, Ashley Hill on two for Ipswich, Jake Reed, the rider for Sheffield on gate three and Josh Brook on gate four. He's uh, certainly been a, a points uh, getter today for the uh, the home side but he'll have to really come good this time as will Ashley Hill if they can go into the last race trailing by four points and get a 7-3 this time it'll mean it'll be a last heat decider so everything on heat 17 at the moment the match uh, delicately poised as uh, Sheffield will be hoping to uh, prevent that uh, maximum score by the home side and hold on to the league points they're under orders now and away they go. Hoyland gets a pretty good one from one. They, it's what the Sheffield boys were hoping for. But Brooks right on his shoulder, chasing him down. And Ashley Hill not far away there in third place. So if Hoyland makes a slip this time, it will allow Ipswich to take it to the last race. But at the moment, Hoyland looking comfortable. Brook right behind him. And Ashley Hill in third place with uh, Jake Reed in fourth. Halfway through the race then, Hoyland still holding on to the lead and uh, Ipswich must make a challenge in the final stages of this race if they're to get anything. Brook is right there and he's coming around the outside. No, he's finding an inside pass. He switches his line coming up the inside of Hoyland. Does get the first place but unfortunately Ashley Hill unable to join him means that it's a 6-4 in favour of Ipswich. Good that they can get the race win but unfortunately they needed a maximum to uh, have any chance of taking lead points today and Brook the hero but Hoyland takes the three points. Valuable three points for Sheffield. Well, Sheffield 
not only have the advantage, the luxury, I could say, of uh, a six-point lead going into the final race, so they can't be caught. They've also got the luxury of their top pairing, Andy Angel and Radek Hanke, lining up in their colours for this final race against Lewis Roberts and Jordi Stamp for the home side. So Sheffield, no, they can't lose, but uh, I'm sure that Angel and Hanke will still be all out for the points as Hanke gets a superb start from the outside there, leads it up. Angel once again uh, having to uh, do it the hard way, not for the first time today, but uh, soon slips through into second place there as Jordi Stant uh, uh, is the victim of that robust overtake by the British champion, Hanky out in front then for Sheffield. His team partner and captain, Andy Angel, he's the British champion and he started off the match uh, in uh, a slow fashion today but he's certainly finishing it off in style he hasn't been headed by an opponent since that uh, heat one disappointment hanky taking the race then what a classy performer he's been for the sheffield stars today and uh, the second place they're going to andy angel and that means it's a 10 point uh, match result for them 83 to ipswich 93 to the sheffield stars sheffield take the league points you can see from the start that uh, hanky really is a class performer he's uh, head and shoulders above the rest he's away into the lead stand in second place there momentarily but angel slips on the inside there and uh, stand <laughs> has to take uh, evading action to avoid hitting the fence as uh, angel comes through he's not the british champion for nothing he rides in an uncompromising fashion and uh, it usually gets results. So Sheffield go back to the pits with the league points. They maintain their challenge at the top of the table with Oxford and Paul, and they've got the rest of the season to try and make that challenge, as we now hear from the two team managers. First of all, for Ipswich. Lost the match by 10. A uh, bit disappointed with that. We were level at half time. Uh, one or two silly mistakes in the second half cost us the match. But saying that, Sheffield are a stronger side than us, so to have been as close as we were at half time was a good result for us, I think. Trying to bring younger riders through, um, and that's costing us matches this year. Excellent match, excellent match. Uh, I knew it wasn't going to be easy coming here today. Um, Ipswich are a good side, they've got a lot of young riders doing very well, and they pushed us, they pushed us really hard. Um, luckily, uh, we came uh, through at the end, and uh, it was a good result for Sheffield. Hopefully now we can uh, carry on there. Uh, we've got three really big matches coming up and we just need to keep winning now to be in there at the end of the season.